Hey, I'm uh, stopping by with my old local team here, team number 2826 Wave Robotics, uh, checking to see uh, the reactions to Destination Deep Space and maybe some of the uh, features that they're working on, some of the ideas that they have going on, and some of their prototypes that they have as well, too. So I'm here with uh, Ryan, who's a senior on Wave Robotics. And uh, Ryan, I want to start out by asking you, uh, Destination Deep Space has come out. This is your fourth year, right, as a student. So you've seen a few games before. What are your initial reactions to Destination Deep Space? Um, I think this is a very interesting game compared to uh, the last three years. Um, uh, in And there's a lot of different strategies about going about this game. Um, and different robot designs that can be accomplished. And there's a lot more than just uh, one or two tasks that you can do. There's, uh, you can put balls into the rocket, there's hatches you can pick up, and uh, also climbing on level three, which is quite a challenge. Yeah, definitely that is a challenge this year. One thing I want to ask you about too is the sandstorm this year. So it's yeah. a little bit different than the autonomous, right? So when you first saw that come out and then as you had a little bit of time to digest that, what are your thoughts on the sandstorm period and the challenge that might be associated with it? Um, I really think that's an interesting way to start the game. Um, there, will, there will be teams who choose to do autonomous and then teams who choose to drive based on ability levels of the team. Um, so I think I'm, I'm very excited about it because it's something different than the normal autonomous mode. Where, where are you thinking about right now? When you, you said some teams might choose to drive with a camera, some teams might do full autonomous. What is Wave thinking about to start out with? Um, Right now, we're unsure, but um, I'm thinking we'll do a combo of each, depending on how well um, our programming period goes. So, so I want to talk a little bit about, you have uh, some intake wheels here, right? Um, so why don't you tell me a little bit about these, uh, kind of some of your thought process behind them, and uh, what you're looking at uh, doing in regards to game manipulation. Um, so these are actually our old uh, intake wheels from last year. Um, and. Um, we would like to pick up the balls off the floor, and then also after discussion, we'd like to pick up the hatches from the floor. So instead of having two different mechanisms, we're kind of trying to integrate it into one. Um, so right on the bottom here, we have these um, cool parabola-shaped things, um, and they will help us pick up the hatch from the floor. And then the wheels are for the balls. So let's take a look at this uh, Cadron you have here a little bit. So this is kind of showing off a little bit, but what's going on. So tell me uh, a bit more about the Cadron and, and where you're kind of looking at uh, moving forward from this next step here. Um, so um, it's very similar to what I just showed you. Um, you have your wheels right here and a hatch and then those weird shaped things right there. Um, and this is just a prototype as of now. So we'll be cutting this out today and then hope to test it. So the last thing I want to ask you about is you mentioned that you're really excited in regards to the climbing this year as well, too. What are Wave's thoughts in regards to climbing? Are you looking at going level three? Are you going to maybe even support other robots? Level two, what's kind of the first thing on your mind? Um, yeah, so level three is definitely on our priority list. Um, we're still thinking of different ideas of how to get up there. Um, and we'll continue to, to develop those ideas better because we really want to uh, get up there ourselves. Um, to guarantee that ranking point at the end of the match. Great points. And Ryan, thank you so much for uh, checking with us. Uh, best of luck to 2026 this season. We can't wait to see what you guys come out with. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe.